All right, let's kick this thing off. Hi, everybody. This is Heath Close with BuildBox, and in this three-part series, we're going to take a look at building isometric games in BuildBox. This series is broken into three parts. In part one, we're going to talk about isometric art itself. In part two, we're going to make some isometric art and look at a couple of options for programs to use. And in part three, we're going to look at making a simple isometric game in BuildBox using the art we make in part two. This will be an introduction to isometrics, so we aren't going to make anything too complex, just a simple iso jumper. But by the end of this series, you should be better equipped to pursue making your own isometric games in BuildBox. In part one, we're going to talk about isometric art and what it is and what it isn't, where the word isometric comes from, and what makes an image isometric. So let's dig right in. When I was a kid, I used to love drawing 3D boxes. I would take up a whole page in a spiral notebook just doodling these boxes. I was so enthralled with the effect given when I would connect the parallel lines, and I say parallel in quotes because these images were far from perfect, but when I would connect the parallel lines, I was creating an effect that would bring these images into a dimension that was no longer flat, and in my mind's eye, I just gave my image depth, but what I really gave it was a perspective. In fact, what I was doing was giving the images parallel projection. Some people refer to this as 2.5D, or isometric art, but was it really, quote, isometric art? Well, I was creating art with parallel projection, and isometric is a kind of parallel projection. In fact, there are other kinds, like dimetric and trimetric, which are all axonometric projections. But getting into all that would be way outside the scope of this series. But if this interests you, there is a ton of stuff to learn by googling terms like parallel projection, axonometric projection, isometric projection, dimetric projection, trimetric projection, and foreshortening. In fact, your research into foreshortening is where you will learn where the word isometric comes from. But before this gets way too complicated, let's make this as simple as possible. This is a starting image of a crude animation I made that can demonstrate what an isometric view is. Here we see a square, but if we move the camera perspective up and rotate it, we now see that in fact that was a cube and we were not seeing the whole thing. In essence, isometrics is a perspective, and to be more specific, isometric art is art drawn at a certain perspective. That's what makes isometric art isometric. Without the specific angles of an isometric perspective, it isn't technically isometric art. Given that there are specific technical requirements to being isometric art, the word isometric to describe art and perspectives in game design has become the most misused term we throw around. I would be remiss if I didn't let you in on that. But it is also the easiest way to communicate to someone who isn't a professional draftsman what kind of art or perspective your game is using. So for the sake of simplicity, we game designers will likely continue to misuse that term. You see, if you want to make isometric art, your angles need to be 120 degrees at the corner and 30 degrees from the horizontal. So what does that mean for us as game designers? Well, I can tell you right now, I have never once pulled out a protractor and tried to make sure that my art is at 120 degrees on the angle and 30 degrees from the horizontal. And I would probably still call it isometric for the sake of simplicity and communication. Now, having said that, and having given you this short lesson on what isometric is and what it is not, let's dive in to making some. In the next video, I'm going to show you two different programs, one free and one paid, for making isometric art. I like these two because they take the guesswork out of the angles. So come on back for that one, and I will see you in part two.